These are the only three neckties you'll ever need in how to tie them. Starting with the half Windsor, not my favorite knot, but it can be proven useful, so you should know how to do it. Starting with the narrow end, it's going to be shorter than the wider end. You're gonna take the wide end, you're gonna go over top of the narrow, just like that. You're gonna cross it behind and then pull it through that neckline, just like that. Then you're going to push it behind again, and you're gonna wrap it in the front, wrapping it over top of your two fingers to create a little hole that you will pull the knot up through and then down to the end, just like that. Make sure that you set in a nice little dimple in there. And this is going to be useful for just about any situation. It's a more symmetrical knot and very popular among professionals. Next, the double foreign hand. You've probably learned the foreign hand as the first knot ever. This is just wrapping that blade around an extra time to give you a little bit more oomph in your knot. Again, narrow end is always shorter than the wide end. You're going to wrap that wide end over top. You can either use your fingers here and do a double loop. I like to go over top, setting that base. Then you'll do the double just like that. Put your fingers in, creating that hole. Pull it through and tighten it. This is going to create a nice asymmetrical knot. Perfect for more casual events or if you want more of a laid back style. Absolutely love it and recommend it. The next one is my absolute favorite. I've seen it being called the Prince Albert, but it's not quite the same. I call it the Primo Knot, and you see it in all my videos. Again, short, long, wrap it over. It's kind of like the double four in hand, but an extra loop. You're going to set that base. Then you're going to put your two fingers underneath, and you're going to wrap, and then wrap. Pull through the top, just like so, and then pull through both of those wraps from your finger. Nice and tight. You're going to create that dimple in there. And I absolutely love this knot because when you're wearing high-waisted trousers, it fits perfectly. Plus you get that little kind of ripple and design effect with that second loop underneath there. This is what I use in 99% of all of my wear cases. I think you can use it for just about anything. And there you have it, the three knots that are gonna get you through every 